All right, we've taken, uh, we've got the tire off and the shield off, three bolts. Ten millimeter bolts hold the shield in place. It goes up in here. Put a bolt here, bolt there, and a bolt there. Twenty-two millimeter bolt on here. Of course, I'm getting it off with the impact gun. Uh, they do make several uh, pulley grabbing tools. I'm sure I might have a recommendation from Amazon down in the description. You buy yourself a holding tool and uh, get that bolt off. 22 millimeter again. Then we're going to loosen the tensioner. Got our 3 8 drive ratchet in there. And we can just pull this back like so and loosen up the belt and take it off. So that's what we'll be doing. Taking it off right there. See the square hole there. Two thousand five two point seven liter engine, V six dual over cam four ten millimeter bolts. Take this cover off, oil filter, oil cap. So oil cap, put that back on. We got some uh, ten millimeter bolts. Got the belt loose already from below. Showed you that previously. We'll get that out of there. Just we'll see about maybe moving this hose or see what's going on here. We'll get that power string pump out of the way. It's like a 14 millimeter bolt there. Probably two, maybe three 14 millimeter bolts holding that power string pump in there. We'll take it off and uh, lay it off to the side. So we're removing the two 14 millimeter bolts that are in here. You can see them no problem. Happy you have your flashlight. Reach right through the uh, holes in the pulley. So we'll just continue and take this off and move on. There's also a power string connection right here. We'll disconnect that. We got our power string loose. We'll take this loose too, maybe. And we'll try our best to set this off to the side. That comes off too. There. So we got some stuff loose. Use a bungee cord or something, zip that off to the side so it'll stay out of our way. Then it's uh, pretty basic. Just go ahead and start taking off the 10 millimeter bolts off of the covers. And do that. And then also, uh, it's like two, two 12 millimeter bolts for the tensioner right there and get the tensioner and the belt out of the way. And then 17 millimeter belt bolts here for this. Uh, engine mount although just looking at it right now I'm not sure it has to come off so let's see what we can do
it's not exactly just falling right out for some reason, so there we go. Right out. get these bolts all loose and uh, see what comes out. Try and separate these wires here, maybe with a needle nose, squeeze those things together, and uh, oh, it's just a bracket. <laughs> there we go. Voila. Start to see the timing marks right there. There's a dot on this one, and it looks like a little groove right up there. I'm sure, it's the same for the back. So we'll just need to line the dots up with the holes. All right, we'll get down there and uh, continue with the bottom. So we get the bolt out. I think as we previously showed you. Uh, off, wiggle it back and forth. Voila! We got uh, up here, probably a 15 millimeter, uh, maybe 16 millimeter bolt for that idler pulley, and then maybe four or five timing belt cover bolts. You can see most of them there. 10 millimeter. Seventeen. Seventeen millimeter. Came loose pretty good, easy, almost too easy. Yes, that's my poor gun on this last leg. <laughs> we'll just keep taking those out and, uh, and we'll take the cover off. Alright, so the cover came out nice and easy right down here. 
So now I can get a look at the tensioner, which you'll have to take out two 12 millimeter bolts. And there's a hole there, and you'll need to uh, put that in a vise or C-clamp or something and slowly compress it and stick a drill bit or something through the hole so you can uh, remount it. You can't do this once in extended like it is. So we'll unbolt that and then we can, first of all, we'll line up our timing marks. They're close but not quite right. So we'll get those lined up and I'll show you what they look like lined up. Best bet is to put the uh, bolt back in place here probably. You gotta be careful of that and uh, turn the engine over until you get your marks lined up. Alright, hopefully you can see it. There's uh, I put the white mark on the engine and there's actually a little dimple on the back of this pulley. That's very close. And I'm pretty happy with the lineup right there. So I'm going to leave well enough alone. I got my white marks. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take off the tensioner like we talked about and get the belt off. It's using my long extension 12 millimeter socket. There we go. Need a, I said collapse this in, put a pin through here and through that hole. And then you can mount it back up and when all your marks are lined up again you pull the pin so it puts tension on the belt. I've got a jack underneath the engine supporting it because I'll be taking off the engine mount here to get the timing belt off. like a 14 millimeter bolt there right underneath the pulley as well there's two I can see ooh and a dipstick bolt so I gotta get the dipstick tube off that there too it looks like so it's got 12 millimeter on the dipstick tube and then probably three 14 millimeter bolts holding that chunk of metal on the engine So I do have an extension and a 12 millimeter on that bolt down there. I'll just use my ratchet and uh, take that bolt off. So I can get that mount out of there. Alright, so there's a 12 millimeter bolt underneath here that you can't really see. That's 12 millimeter, and I think the other ones are 14 millimeter. Just wanted to give you the heads up on that. So we've got it out, and here it is. There are 14 millimeter bolts here. And a 12 millimeter bolt there. All right, of course, when you're doing a timing belt that has a water pump that's being driven by the timing belt, always recommend replacing it. So we're going to do that. Got the one idler pulley off there. 
on the right. We'll take the one on the left off as well, 14 millimeter. And it looks like uh, 12 millimeter bolts for the water pump. Just uh, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Take them off. And get something to catch the coolant. So we get the uh, bolt out for this is actually the tensioner assembly. So don't take that bolt off for the pulley. Just take the tensioner off. And as always, got to keep out for that washer on the back. They can slip away, and you can kind of forget about it. It's got a washer in the front and the back. So now take the water pump off. There we go, uh, that's pretty much all of them I think. Got to loosen up for and let the coolant uh, flow out and uh, drain the coolant. Then we'll pull the water pump off. It's a nice new shiny one. See, it's got a couple of uh, extra holes, maybe for a couple of dowel pins on there. Alright, just a note for the right tensioner again. It's got a hole on there for the pin to go on. So just make sure you get that all lined up, of course. Hopefully there's no other way to do it. Start on the crankshaft pulley down there and wrap it around the tensioner or idler pulley here. And you want uh, as little slack as possible on this side. You want all your slack on the tensioner side so that when you pull the magic pin on the tensioner, it will take up all the slack. So we've got around here, pretty happy with the amount of tension here. It's pretty tight. We'll loop around the water pump and around here, around the tensioner. And then uh, we'll pull the pin when we like our marks all lined up. And we'll turn the engine over a couple times and then we'll uh, double check our marks because it's a nice and easy to redo it here. Then I have to redo it when it's all taken apart or put back together. So here we are looking at the belts and my alignment. Pretty happy with the front one. And I'm pretty happy with the back one. And down here. Pretty happy with that one there too. I do recall when I took it apart, it was just off to the left a little bit of the mark on the block. But right there. Happy with that. I'm going to pull the pin and turn the engine over a couple times and double check my marks. Pulled the pin. Slack's taken up. Okay, I put a couple spacers in there so I can protect the uh, pin on there. I'm going to turn over by hand a couple times. Always want to go clockwise on here. That's once around. We'll blow it one more time. Ugh. Oops, sorry about that.
All right. So there's my mark. It looks that's where it's supposed to be. Go check uh, above. So there's a mark on the front and the mark on the back and I am happy with both. So at this point I'd say go ahead and uh, reverse procedure, procedure to install, put things back together the way you found them. I believe I've shot everything that you know where it goes now and crank pulley is about 130 foot pounds of torque. So we have everything back together. We have uh, added coolant to the radiator and we'll just run it. Make sure you got good heat in the car and then watch the temperature gauge. And we'll take it for a test drive, come back, uh, let it cool down, and check the coolant level again cold, and uh, top it off as necessary once it's cold again, and it will be good to go. Double check the overflow here, make sure you have coolant in the overflow. So this concludes our tiny belt water pump, the 2.7 liter V6 dual overhead cam Hyundai Sonata 2005 model year. If you can read that, 